Welcome, in this video we will learn about general problem solver technique. I want to warn you in advance, this is just a theory video. If you are not interested in theory, you can skip this video. If you want to listen the theory on general problem solver, then continue. As the name implies, that is general problem solver, it was intended to solve nearly any general problem. It was the first useful computer program that came into existence in the artificial intelligence world. It could only solve well-defined problems such as proving mathematical theorems in geometry and logic. It could also solve word puzzles and play chess. In further, we will see in this course such kind of general problem solver programs where the AI solves a puzzle and plays a game. The reason behind general problem solver program is that these problems could be formalized to a reasonable extent. But in the real world, this quickly becomes intractable because of the number of possible paths you can take. So in this way, you can solve a general problem. First one, define the goal. In the life also, you have to define the goal first. If you don't know what is the goal, then you will be confused. Second, define the precondition. After that, define the operator. So let me explain these three steps in brief by using a very simple goal. The first step is to define the goal. So let's say our goal is to get some chocolate or get a car or whatever. If you want a chocolate, it's in grocery store. The next step is to define the preconditions. These preconditions are in reference to the goal to get chocolates from the grocery store. We need to have a mode of transportation and the grocery store should have chocolates available. The third step, defining the operators. If my mode of transportation is a car and if the car is low on fuel, then we need to ensure that we can pay the fueling station. And also we need to ensure that you can pay for the chocolates at the store. So in this way, a general problem is reduced into three steps and the problem is solved. The general problem solver will work as long as you can frame the problem like we did just now. Constraint is that it uses the search process to perform its job, which is way too computationally complex and time consuming for any meaningful real world application. Which you will see further in this course about what I am talking, about what kind of general problem I am talking. So nowadays almost all of the AI are based on general problem solver itself only. So that's it in this video. I hope you enjoyed little bit of theory. If you didn't, I am helpless because this theory was pretty much important to mention at the beginning of this course. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video.